segment uh, we're coming to you from uh, the church of saint mary in el maadi and actually it's one of uh, the sacred sites for the trip of the holy family uh, to egypt and um, it's a historical area uh, the church itself and the, the orthodox churches in general um, they have their own characteristic features when it comes to the construction whether the icon status or the way the ceiling in the shape of the ark of noah and many features we will be talking about the importance of the site and some of the most important historical and touristic attractions here in the Church of St. Mary. And I'm happy to have with me Mr. Adil Zaki. And uh, he is uh, or he is the former chief of uh, the incoming uh, committee at uh, the Ministry of Tourism and the Tourism Chamber. Welcome with us. Thank you. Welcome, sir, and let's start uh, by talking about uh, this uh, church, when it was built, and what's historic about uh, this uh, building? It was built on stages, mm -hmm. according to, to, to my knowledge, and it, but it became really uh, very important. Historically, this place exists as a, a kind of uh, uh, holy for, ma for many people. Uh, we had some uh, Jew, coming to this area uh, when, when uh, the Roman Empire was around and they, they escaped either from Palestine and from, from, from uh, Rome at that time and because they were persecuted and they came, took shelter here. And uh, that was a suburb of, at that time of Memphis, what was the capital uh, of Egypt. And, and then uh, when the Holy Family came to Egypt, they came here coming from they come they came from Sinai and then uh, Cairo at that time it was uh, different names etc and then they came here just to cross to the uh, other side of the Nile going south sorry north to uh, upper Egypt okay and then it became uh, Maadi coming from Maadeya because the Addo passage to cross uh, the yeah. passage yeah so, and then it took the very, very importance, and that's at that time they started of building, the, the, as you said, mentioned the crypt and so on, where they went downstairs, you know, and even inside the church you have the, uh, the steps mm -hmm. on which they, they, they walk into the uh, small the boat, taking yeah. them to, to, uh, uh, to upper Egypt. Yes. Now, when it comes to uh, Orthodox churches, especially churches in Egypt, they have their own unique characteristic features in terms of uh, the way they are constructed. And we tend to say that uh, they are in the Basilican style, more or less, and they have special uh, features in them. Would you talk to us about that, please? Yes, it's, it's, you know, it's the, it represented the Coptic faith. You know, that the, there was a division mm. between uh, St. Mark, decided to to uh, send the, the, the division then would come the uh, Coptic Church we do not have anything to do even architecture like the ca Catholic Church or Cathedral and so on and so forth yes so and we have all this that started really in Fayum area mm -hmm. where you have even the, the features of uh, it's, it's a very well you have uh, uh, the Fayum portrait Fayum, exactly so uh, the, the start of the art the proper architecture to the Coptic Church started really in, in, in Fayoum. Mr. Yes. Aydel, uh, tell us uh, the story about uh, the floating uh, Bible. I, I believe it's an interesting one. Yeah, this is, uh, it's really, it, according to their history, there were several miracles in this area mm -hmm. after uh, the Holy Family crossed to the, in this area. And uh, in 12th of March, 1976, I think, there's, there's somebody saw uh, a deacon of the church saw something floating and went into where they crossed, you know, the, the, the steps. So they run and then he went in, they took it out of the water and it, it, it was a Bible, it is a Bible, uh, and it was open on a page, the, that's the miracle. Uh, blessed be Egypt, my people. That's written in the, in the, in, in the Bible. And it was open on this page. So that's why everybody in the world, the historians, the archaeologists, etc., they consider this a miracle. That yes. Egypt is blessed, like, like in the Quran, like in the Torah, and so on. Uh, Egypt is blessed by, the, by God. 
now. And there, by the way, it's, uh, it's, uh, it's there. Mm. Uh, it's exhibited in, in the church. It's opened on the same page they found it. It opened on the same page they found it. No. Now, uh, Mr. Adel, actually, uh, the components of the church uh, or a Coptic church in Egypt is quite interesting because we're one of the few churches where you have icon status, an icon status, and you have uh, sets of icons. We don't do statuary. Yes. So would you talk to us about some of the interesting icons we have here? Uh, uh, unfortunately, I, I, did not, I visited didn't, this yeah. church several yeah. times, but yeah. since about maybe 10 years, I did not come back. But all the but icons we, Then here, in that case, we can do more speaking in general about iconography in yeah, that case. The, the main icons here are uh, Virgin Mary. Yeah, the Holy okay, Virgin. So uh, I remember, I, I saw some, but mm -hmm. I didn't visit again since about more than so 10 years. So would you talk to us about the concept of iconography in general, and not it necessarily... Is a representation, yeah. uh, it's a representation on, on Jesus Christ the family and and the apostrophe and and the mm -hmm. and all the same that that you know the the, the last supper and so yeah. on and and this is un, un, uh, contrary to to the quran that the, it was allowed to to put the picture and it's interesting because they did um, uh, more on wooden plaques rather than having statues because they they in a sense at, at the beginning of christianity they, it, yes, it was felt when, that statues are being pagan don't you think so when when they started uh, with with a, uh, mm -hmm. as you say a statues they uh, they okay wood was not yet workable you know mm. in, in, as an uh, as an art so it was again in, in the Fayum area when it's all so started. So it's a development of art. Yes, exactly. Yeah. When Mr. they started Ayad, working on the wood. Uh, if we talk about the trip of the Holy Family, uh, the main important stops that uh, during uh, that uh, trip, can you tell us about it? The more important uh, stops are uh, in uh, one in Sinai when they came from Sinai, and the rest is in the, the, what they call the Big Cairo. And of course, uh, this is Cairo, and then the other, when they cross, is Giza. So they are, according to uh, the study made and the uh, uh, cartography made by mm -hmm. late Paul, uh, Pope Shenouda, he certified the, 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 the route, and it's about 20 to 23 stops. Mm -hmm. Five or six of the most important are in Cairo and, and, and Giza, and of course, all the way to Asyut and so on. Now we have, as travel agencies, we have worked for some years on five or six stops that are in in, uh, in Cairo, Al Shagrat Maryam, and, and so on and so forth. But unfortunately, uh, it is it was totally neglected, and you cannot bring uh, a big number of tourists uh, to visit the the, the, the Holy Land uh, trip to Egypt. Uh, based only on five or six stops, because most of the market that will come are very interested, are coming from South America. They're, 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 they are so they need a long uh, trip. So you need, okay, and uh, money, well, let's say, uh, economy-wise, you need the people to stay more than three or four or five nights. Yeah. European can come for five or six stops, mm -hmm. like, like Italians, like Spanish, like Irish, and so mm -hmm. on. But it's not enough for me, as, as I, I'm, I'm not in, uh, uh, impressed by the numbers. Mm -hmm. For me, as tourism, I want the, the revenue. So mm -hmm. the more they stay, the more they spend. So uh, about when uh, uh, Minister Hisham Zazu was there, we worked together on 12 stops that would be worthwhile for South American or North American or, or some countries in Japan, in, in Asia to come. Were 12, okay, but the, the, the six or seven or five other stops were completely neglected. No, no way, no, no highway, I don't know highway, a normal way, uh, no cafeteria, uh, no light, no toilets, nothing. How can I bring, and at that time we wrote to the six or seven governorates, say please, it's not going to cost something. And the Ministry of Tourism had at that time a lot of money and they say we will pay for it. We never get a reply. And now I understand that the ministry wants to announce that now, yes, we have the uh, uh, Holy Family uh, trip, etc., etc. I, I think that would be a big mistake to announce it officially today because I know that they wrote to the governor of Cairo and to, to you know, to 
rehearse to not to rebuild but you know to update what is already but then. definitely before opening any site the, the facilities around it will be exactly. will be prepared exactly. and and the concept now is to start with what we have and we still have a lot because we have Mataria we have old Cairo we have the Coptic have you been Museum to Mataria? we have uh, have you been to Mataria yeah, lately yeah I've been to it before the revolution but not lately it, it's, a, it's a it's a shame what's happening in Mataria dirt all over the place, and this is the, the tree of Mariam, as they call it. Mm -hmm. And it's, it's, it's garbage all over the place. All the roads are, are completely big holes. Water, uh, sorry, uh, Bagari, whatever it is. Sewage. Is sewage is there and so on. And so it that needs actually, upkeeping and maintenance. Actually, the actual minister wrote the, the, to the uh, governor of Cairo and said, OK, up, upgrade all these areas. Uh, Mr. Adel, what are the signs that was left by uh, the Holy Family uh, in order to know that this is the real stop? Uh, historically, it has been uh, 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 written, uh, the real stop, you have, as I say, five or six, among it, Al Ma'ala, uh, from Masjid Adima, they also the Shagrat Maryam, and uh, one in uh, the Governorate of Mansoura, and one in Sinai, and this one, of course. And this is, uh, yes, it is sure, it is, uh, Bob, uh, Pope Shenouda wrote it down, he said that we have proof that they stopped in these areas. Okay, and he built the, 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 the route of this uh, Holy Family, and it was certified by him, and it became official at that time. Now, as a tourism expert and being a member for a long period of time in the Chamber of Tourism, what's the status of tourism nowadays, in general? Uh, in general, there is an improvement, mm -hmm. and, uh, but the real improvement, if inshallah everything goes as we are with security and so on, the real the tourism will take place as of next October, mm -hmm. uh, the year eight, seasons 18-19. Mm -hmm. Why? Because season 17-18, uh, most of the European tour operator, 72% of our tourism come from Europe. Mm -hmm. And I'm spe speaking of the cultural tourism, mm -hmm. not the, the resort and, so, and, so, and, yes. and so on. Because this is a, a damage for tourism, it's not mm -hmm. tourism. Uh, they did not put uh, each program on their brochure. Mm -hmm. It is always done in, in April or May. Mm -hmm. So April May last year, Egypt was not included in their program. Mm -hmm. So, but when they saw that there is a demand, people want to come to Egypt, they start selling through internet and so on, and, and, and their website and so on. But if everything was okay, mm -hmm. inshallah, next we have the major tourist uh, trade show in, in Berlin called ITB. Mm -hmm. It is there when they decide to include or not any, any destination. Mm -hmm. any travel destination. Mm -hmm. So we hope that in March, it's always in March uh, this year, inshallah, uh, if they see that everything is quiet and people are already coming, mm -hmm. we have some Europeans coming to, uh, by charter to Luxor and to uh, Urgada and Sharm el Sheikh, but it's, it's really minimal. The big numbers coming are big numbers. Uh, Chinese coming for, for, for peanuts, uh, it, it's a shame. You sell a night for twelve dollars instead of sixty and seventy and eighty. And uh, now some Germans are coming, some Italians are coming to do the cruise. They land in uh, in Luxor and do the cruise to Sharm el Sheikh for four night to uh, Luxor as one. And then they can drive to Urgada or Sharm and so on, or fly to Sharm and have two weeks stay. But the real restart will be. Uh, hopefully, inshallah, as of October next 18 season, to next winter. 19. Mr. Adel, what does Egypt need in order to revive the season? Uh, We've been of talking about this since many times. Many times, and nobody's moving. You need to hire one of the biggest PR companies in the world. They are four, they're expensive, but they have to work on each image. I was in, in, in Paris, I had lots of, I, my, for our company, Paris was one of, France was one of the biggest markets. People are, are in, in, in France, 
they have now in many areas of Paris and uh, big cities, they have this, this uh, terrorist preying in the streets. Uh, uh, there is a uh, misconception. In France, mm. microphone in, 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 in France mm. and in, other, in Italy. So they have a very bad image of Islam, okay? What they see on television is, is killing, is beheading and so on. And nobody from here, we talk between us. Mm. Lately only, Sheikh Al-Azhar, thank, thankfully, start to travel and to explain to the people what is Islam. Mm -hmm. But besides that, we need, they see an, 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 a beheading on, and they think, and they, they told me, we do not want to go to any Islamic country from Morocco to Indonesia. Okay, who, we have an, an, an incident, a an, uh, bomb exploding. Who talks to the tribal opinion? Nobody. We don't have, nobody can talk to them. We have the Minister of Foreign Affairs, they do their job. They issue a communique to the minister, to the ambassadors around. It's not the road. They, they, okay. They reply to the, uh, to the. Uh, so we need more soft power because this is exactly, diplomatic from a country. We need the PR soft company power. because this is their job. What about do we need like people like you've mentioned that the uh, the Grand Imam Ahmad Tayyib he went and he uh, spoke about uh, the true spirit of Islam. But it, it, do we also need like speakers to go to talk in universities no, at different important no. venues, hold conferences? You need, you need events and you need mm. as we start to doing this. Mm -hmm. We need stars. The Pope Francois came. Mm -hmm. What did we do about it? And we didn't take this, advantage of this historical important visit. Exactly. Yeah. How, did we uh, use it? No. If you had a, a, a PR company, for five or six months they will talk about it in the world media. Because they have their old people in television, in radio, in newspaper and so on. We, we did not anything, as he did not come. Mm -hmm. We were very excited about it. Mm -hmm. The world was very excited, but we forgot it. So now, what about the social media, now that it's very big and the internet is very big, especially Absolutely. among the youth? How can we utilize the social media for, to promote for Egypt? We, we have to do this, because we are paying tremendous amount of money to CNN and I don't know what, you know, all this kind of info for nothing. Mm -hmm. I'll give you a very example that a country, uh, not a country, uh, social media. Mm -hmm. There was a, a, a 21 years old uh, British, he received mm -hmm. for his birthday mm -hmm. a digital camera. Mm -hmm. He loves uh, the, the orangutan and, and all this, the big, the big monkeys and so on. Mm -hmm. And he heard that this exists in Rwanda. They exist and live in Rwanda. He took mm -hmm. a plane, mm -hmm. he went there, and he took a, a ranger with him, of course, because this is very dangerous. Mm -hmm. And while walking, they saw, and the, the ranger told him, go down, he mm -hmm. went down. He saw a tourist. On his two shoulders, two small uh, big monkeys, mm. orangutan or whatever it is. Mm. And the daddy and mommy were in front, you know, just looking and etc. Mm. So he started to his picture in picture, mm. and all of a sudden, dad and mom uh, left, and the two fr left, okay, they came down from his shoulder, and they left. He posted this on his Facebook account mm. immediately. Mm. Tell, yani, you tell me. How many likes? Millions, definitely millions. Huh? 66 million. Well, that, that's important. That the social media is Rwanda important. And, and we, we have to take care of it. And I'd like to thank you very much. Thank you very much, welcome. tourism expert, as well as former member of uh, uh, Egypt's uh, Chamber of Tourism. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Mr. Adil. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you, sir, uh, very pleasure. much. And now we're going to listen to one of the religious songs of the uh, Second Sky Team uh, Choir uh, that the, the, this song was made here in this church. So let's listen to it. <laughs> 